Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, we're going to have a first look at this unique uh, product that is this uh, Cubo Smart Indoor uh, Camera. And this is just not a regular, uh, what do you say, security camera. This actually uh, does a lot. In fact, uh, it is a combination of a lot of devices. For example, as you can see, it says that it has Alexa built in. And this one also has Zigbee integration, so it can do home automation. And if you recall, Amazon Alexa speakers that have Zigbee are sort of premium. So I don't know the exact pricing. Also has an LCD screen, it's a Bluetooth speaker, and two-way communication, and all all those things uh, and I don't know the exact pricing guys but looks like uh, this is going to be a premium product as it does a lot of things so let's uh, have a look at the same and we have some pamphlets here too let's look at this what it says it says Cubo smart indoor camera and by the way guys this is why uh, hero uh, it's actually made in India so I'm like glad to see they are making such premium products now in uh, India and it's by hero so have a lot of expectations anyways uh, and by the way uh, as far as I know this is going to be launching via Amazon uh, so I'll leave the link uh, uh, and we know the pricing when it's released so it says Cubo smart indoor camera and here it says obviously as it's a camera so remote monitoring you can do two-way talk night vision obviously uh, intrusion detect face recognition uh, baby cry detection and also it has Alexa built in as I've told you and this one also has Zigbee so uh, we can do home automation as you can see and routines and stuff and this is something else I think that these are some different products anyways so we'll just keep this and let's open this up now and this slides away like this and this is the box so let's open this up and uh, here we have and interestingly they have given a 32 GB uh, uh, what do you say micro SD card in this one but I believe there is also internal storage on this anyways uh, so here is the camera uh, module I would say and it is looking nice and it's not as big as I expected so we have a plastic cover over here maybe uh, yeah you can peel this off so glossy plastic like this as you can see and uh, it does not weigh that much so it looks like these are the speakers power button will go uh, I'm assuming this might be your micro SD card slot over here and the camera is here and this might be the IR and we also have a 2.8 inch screen some uh, far field microphones and stuff uh, so that's what it is and we also have a booklet so what's inside the box and here we have a sim injector tool I don't know why it is there but we'll figure that out and this is the power brick so that's what we have in the box we have also one more so this is the warranty it says one year and for our adapter it's six months so that's what we have in the box so let me do one thing guys let me try to set this up and then I'll show you how it works, how it pairs and all those things. So trying to set it up and the display lights up, it's about a 2.8 inch uh, screen that we have. And I'm pretty sure it'll ask us to install an app, but let's see. It also blue light came here at the bottom. And here I've added the SD card, we can add it here, we've done that. So the blue LED is there and it's still booting. The smart indoor camera. It is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in Cubo mobile application. So I'll just uh, install this app and then we will uh, continue guys. In setup mode, follow the instruction in Cubo mobile app. It says it's a green, uh, green. yes. I'm just going to, so yes, just checking. So the setup is actually very easy guys uh, because of the screen and the voice prompts. Uh, it's actually really easy to set this up. So again, just install the app and just follow the instructions I would say. And yes, it will take about uh, five odd minutes, but uh, again, it's very easy I would say. And by the way guys, I am testing it with an Android phone. Uh, this also uh, works with iOS, that's iPhone, uh, etc. And it says over here, congratulations, uh, we are set up and uh, also it has amazon alexa built in so it's asking for that set up amazon alexa so you have to do that and uh, i already have an amazon alexa account so i'll just link it up and then we'll continue so this is actually a touch screen so that's nice so it can play videos it's gonna be such fun so actually a speaker is really loud 
So give a, plays a small uh, demo video. And it has two microphones over here. It says that it has far field. So even uh, like Alexa speakers, uh, if you are away a little bit across the room, it should actually detect. And uh, this is the actual camera itself. And I guess this blue light denotes that everything is okay because we saw in the setup, it changes to green, red, etc. So by default, it shows you the weather and time. I didn't change the location to Hyderabad. That's why it's showing Delhi. And this is touch screen guys. And if you, you can see, this is your home. This is Alexa skills. These are the settings. Uh, so as I've told you, it works on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and uh, we have. An interesting thing is that if I went uh, went to this about, it's running on Android version 7.1, and uh, Alexa also is uh, Zigbee is also there. So that's actually nice, as I told you, for home automation. And obviously. Uh, you don't need to use this because it's Alexa enabled and you can just use your voice. For example, I'll ask, what's the weather uh, in Hyderabad? Alexa, what's the weather in Hyderabad? In Hyderabad, Telangana, it's 27 degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. So actually the speaker is uh, pretty loud as you can see and this mini display also uh, shows you stuff over here so again uh, so this is nice this is a small uh, display 2.8 inches and obviously apart from alexa uh, as i've told you we also have zigbee integration so for home automation if you have smart lights and stuff you can control it uh, we'll check that later but again uh, this is first and foremost uh, what do you say smart indoor camera so let's also look at it so let me now show you some of the functionality as a security camera and uh, the thing I like is that it automatically detects over here I'll just keep this to the side it's working and by the way guys uh, when it's just like this it'll just show you the time and the date and like this obviously Alexa is there if you just uh, use that trigger word it'll activate automatically anyways uh, if you look at this uh, you can also set up zones and whenever something happens it detects for example as you can see he detected uh, here a person and it highlights that and uh, if you just click it it's just trying to load the video and it'll start playing the video what happened so you can set the easy zones for example here also and it will play it takes about five seven seconds at, uh, to play as you can see it plays that clip automatically let me do one thing and if you go over here here we have all the other important settings you have this baby crying uh, detection feature obviously uh, i can't test that we don't have a baby it says it will work with the babies uh, below two years and uh, this is important this is the zone here i had set up the zone for example in this room if anything in this activity uh, just moves uh, i want it to be triggered you can add your zones for example multiple zones let's say in this area if you want something moves or anything it will set up you can do that you can save and now it will save that zone so you can set up the zones like that and uh, recording trigger what do you want the recording trigger to be uh, you want a person to be coming and motion uh, so again uh, if you just re uh, record continuously it will take up the space so th these are smart things uh, for example on person I have kept it but you can also keep it on motion so those are the triggers and uh, you can also set the sensitivity um, by default it's on high and it's working fine I would say and no Notify when you want a notification. In fact, uh, you'll get a notification on your smartphone uh, whenever a person is there uh, in that area. For example, you're not expecting someone in that area, and um, so you'll get those notification, device notification. And obviously, this also has cloud storage, as I've mentioned. Uh, I've added the SD card, so it's showing me the SD card. But cloud storage is also there, and you get a trial for that. And if you click here, it will. Uh, uh, what do you say live feed also you can see it takes a couple of seconds it's just going there and coming back over here i can see these uh, blue lines are the like when their activity was there i was working here as you can see so that's how you get it and you can adjust the quality between low and high in fact on high quality it is really good it's almost a 1080p feed that you are uh, getting uh, so you have all these smart features and you can set up how you want and obviously amazon alexa is also uh, there on this one also like other security cameras this has that two-way communication so you can talk to this one so that's uh, uh, that is all that stuff is there and also uh, you can 
set up your face so it recognizes for example your family members and everything when they come and that way uh, you won't get any alerts and stuff unnecessarily alerts the biggest problem that i uh, faced with the many of the what do you say security uh, cameras is that they are not smart and uh, i have a cctv system that's a normal one dumb it unnecessarily gives me a lot of uh, notifications and that's not a good thing if you have a security camera uh, so that is the security camera part of this but also let's look at some of the other things like that alexa the speakers and all that stuff as i mentioned earlier guys so you can also control your smart devices like uh, let's say smart lights etc i have one smart light here in the office so let's do that i'm just going to give it a command via this alexa and uh, we're going to try to switch it on the name of the uh, this uh, smart light i've kept it as smart light so let's try that alexa switch on smart light taking a second and if you notice this area might have become a little bit bright now because that light has switched on it takes about a second uh, you can control this for example i have some smart uh, uh, plugs also attached to my geyser you won't be able to see it but i can control my geyser from here for example if i say alexa switch on my geyser that beep uh, that that means uh, it has switched on my geyser so you can control all this stuff for example we get smart plugs you get smart lights all those can be controlled with this and the good thing is that it also has zigbee uh, integration so it works with a lot of smart gadgets that you have uh, so yeah obviously uh, it also has that alexa so you can play music and stuff for example let me quickly give you a demo of that alexa play some music from maroon 5 Shuffling songs by Maroon 5 on Amazon Music. It can go really loud. I'm not uh, keeping it at loud. And as you can see, you can. I'm going to just pause it not to fall in copyright ratio. And as you can see, you also get this uh, on the screen so you can control it via that. So again, uh, it's not only that smart camera. Obviously, first and foremost, it's that smart camera. Uh, but you also have that full Alexa integration with that. Uh, smart home uh, appliance controls, as you saw, because of uh, uh, that Zigbee integration. And it can control smart plugs and stuff like that. And uh, obviously, uh, you uh, it has the screen, so it gives a little bit more information. So it's a full-fledged speaker also uh, you can also connect it via bluetooth i believe it's bluetooth 4.2 that you are having with this one so again uh I can't say that's just a normal security camera uh, sort of a thing, but sort of a built-in smart speaker also and uh, that smart, uh, uh, what do you say, security system that we have with uh, this one. So guys, what do you think about this Cubo smart indoor camera? Do share your thoughts in the comment section below. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And if you guys are still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.